Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we were just out of the underground base, well, underwater base, I guess, because it was a secret underwater base on Manan uh, that the Republic had to harvest Kolto directly, and, uh, Something happened while we were down there. We fixed the problem, but we're probably going to have to answer a couple of questions. As, like, um, why was there a big old explosion down there? Why was there explosions? Ah, uh, because it was the only way to fix the problem without killing everything. Yeah, that's, that's the answer. So, uh, with that in mind, we shall continue on from where we left off, which was just after we got back to the surface of the, uh, yeah, surface of the water, I guess, to the city, Otto City. So here we go. You've returned. Yes. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? Yeah. The construction woke something up. Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? Uh-huh. A giant fraction shark that drove all the self cath insane. It's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. Mm -hmm. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? A uh, few scientists have survived. Well, that's good to know. Good to know indeed. But what has happened to the facility? Was it damaged? We had to destroy the harvesting machine. No, that is terrible. That will set our work back years. It may even cost us the No, it well, won't. I am glad that you were able to solve our problems. The cost may have ended up being much too high. No, it won't. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need. And for that, I thank you. Oh, and did you end up finding your star map? Yes, I did. As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. A little. Perhaps we can work together again in the future. Well, I mean, that depends. Ooh, I got 500 credits for all of that. Seems a little low, but okay. And got a whole bunch of other stuff done, too. Yay! So, now we head out. And we're probably going to get accosted as soon as we're out the door. Wait for it. Yep. Aha. Hi. Stop, human. We have detected a number of underwater detonations coming from the vicinity of the Frackert Rift. You have been known to have asked questions about this, and our spy monitors in the Republic Embassy recorded you leaving in a submersible that descended to the Frackert Rift. You will come with us immediately to answer for your actions, or we will be forced to take you by force. Someone didn't really think that line out. Uh, well, I will come peacefully. Not like I have much of a choice. But if they can do that, the whole system could. Silence! This is not for outsiders to hear. Well, human, you find yourself in the most difficult situation. The Rackert Rift is the most precious resource on the Nan, and anything that threatens it, or the Colto it produces, threatens our entire species. We will not tolerate threats to our neutrality, our existence, and our way of life. As much as we may admire your Republic and your Order in particular, I believe you will have a hard time explaining your role in this incident adequately. We have determined that you are responsible for the detonations that occurred near the Rackert Rift. We demand to know what occurred down there. If the Republic has broken its neutrality treaty with us, the repercussions shall be very grave indeed. What have you done to the Rift? I didn't do anything. I actually made things nice. Well, maybe not for the Republic, but for you. I saved you. So, if anything, y'all should be thanking me. Explosions were at the research station both our governments set up there. Research station? What are you talking about? Don't try to lie to us, human. We know of this. What? It will be discussed later. 
This cannot be kept silent. The council will... The council will hear nothing of this, and you will keep your silence or be ejected from the court. But we cannot... Silence! What has happened at the research station? What caused the explosions? The machinery had woken up a giant fraction shark. A giant fraction? Could it be? Impossible. It is only a legend. But he said he killed it, didn't he? You killed this shark, human? No, no. No, 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 no. Hell no. I destroyed the machinery to save it. The progenitor. It must have been. Be quiet. That is merely a myth and not fit for outsiders to hear. But if it was the life bringer, the ancestor of our species, think of what this could mean. If it all was always laid, layered there, and perhaps the Colto. Enough! Off worlders are not to hear of such things. But he said he saved it. He destroyed the harvesters to save it. Indeed, this casts your actions in a new light, human. This, I believe, will require more thought, both on your actions and on what we must do in response. This court will adjourn while we deliberate. We have reviewed your actions and the situation, human. We thank you for the destruction of the machinery and saving the giant for action, which, we believe, is a source of our culto, or at least its guardian. We will not detain you any longer. While we cannot show our gratitude overtly, know that you have earned our respect. This trial is now over. Well... That went over smoother than I expected. Whoa, oh, jeez. That was a hell of a hitch. But I think everything's... Yep, there we go. Everything's good now. Yay. Uh, is there any missions I have left on this planet? Oh, yeah. Nilco. I need to talk to Nilco. That was really the only thing I have left to do. Which can be done over here, I think. Nilko, 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 Nilko. Ah, there you are. Have you news for me, human? Have you discovered why the Republic is hiring mercenaries? Yes, they were sending them down to a secret base on the Hrakert Rift. The Hrakert Rift? It is as I feared. Though the Republic is fortunate, I was the one assigned to investigate this case. Human, allow me to be blunt with you. If I report this violation to my superiors, the Republic will be banned from Manan. But I do not wish to do this. I see the Sith for what they truly are, ruthless and evil. The Republic has always respected our independence, but if they fall, the Sith will be quick to send an invasion fleet to conquer Manan. But I cannot simply ignore what the Republic has done. The Hrakert Rift is a source of Manan's culto, and I fear the science station may damage production of the delicate resource. Hmm. You think the Republic is trying to steal the culto, perhaps? An odd thing for the Republic to do, no? You must tell the Republic to stop this madness at once. Make them shut down the facility and recall their people before they do something we all regret. They couldn't. They had lost contact with their science facility. Of course. I should have realized. Doubtless, they were hiring the mercenaries to investigate the situation. But I fear mercenaries alone may not be enough to save their station. There are ancient mysteries within the Hrakert Rift that even we Cellcats do not comprehend. I fear the Republic has awakened something that was best left undisturbed. Ah, uh, they awoke a creature which fed on the Kulto. A creature? Feeding on the Kulto? There are many mysteries of the Rift that we have never known, and that would be one of them. The Republic building disturbed it, no doubt. What has happened to this creature? The creature is alive. It is a most unexpected development, but one that will warrant an investigation at a later time. Perhaps the Republican we sell calf may eventually solve. I will keep our conversation secret so that the vile Sith will not gain from the Republic's foolishness. I only hope my silence does not lead to disaster for Manan. Here is the payment I promised you. And now I must take my leave, human. My superiors are expecting a full report from me, and there is much I must do to ensure they cannot uncover the Republic's actions. Well, I did talk to the court and tell them some things already, so you're good. I think you're fine. I think you're okay. 
the fact that I managed to save the big creature probably helps. You know, a little bit. Okay, so I guess that means I'm done with Manon. Yeah. I only have everyone else's quests to do. So yeah, I'm done. Booyah. Time to head back and get out of here. Cool. All right. Now that I'm done here, I guess we'll move on. To May, I guess really the only place left is frickin' Korriban. Ugh. Or I could go to Yavin, see how that goes. Hmm. I could try to go to Yavin anyway. Because there was that one guy there that I still need to talk to. You know, the guy who was selling all that cool stuff. Some of you may remember. It was a long time ago, to be fair. And away we go. Sith interdictor ship. Uh -oh. They've been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Well, crap. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karras vessel. Uh-oh. My own went. Fuck a duck. Well. We're in trouble. And we're just getting sucked sideways to the ship. Well, there we go. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet and a hero to me until he betrayed us. When the oh. Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which is Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. Uh, don't do anything you'll regret, Carl. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. And I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Well, Maybe Admiral okay. Karath doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have mm. to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. Gotcha. Hmm. Is there some way you can use your battle meditation here? The Admiral will be watching the three of us far too closely for any plot involving you, me, or Karth to succeed. Mm. It's going to be up to one of the others to get us out of this. True. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> Couldn't resist. Um... your healing ability. Um, Jihani, you can use your force powers and camouflage abilities to avoid capture. You speak the truth. I alone of all the group might be able to remain hidden if the Sith search the ship. I could wait until the guards have completed their search, then come to rescue you. All right. We'll try it your way, Jihani. May the force be with you. Hold on. They're dragging us into the docking bridge. You sounded like you were a little drunk there, Karth. Are you okay? <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little loopy. Just a little. Karth and the crew have been taken 
prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Carroth warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We searched the ship from top to bottom. Somebody would have had to be invisible for us not to find them in there. Mm. Well done. Return to your post and I'll tell the Admiral of this. Well, about that. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's been far too long since we We're all naked. I see the recent months have not been kind of your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my home world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. No, it was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your head. That head. is in a, war, literally a war crime. Must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never Does he serve know? Malak or the dark side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Carath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the dark side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. Oh boy, <laughs> that second option. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Uh, you're wasting your time, Saul. I'll never betray the Jedi. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The I'm Dark sure he Lord will. would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. History? What are you talking about? You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malak is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. Well, the torture fields. Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malak will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. What are you talking about? I am interrogating you, not the other way around. You will answer questions, not How answer about fuck you, I will ask all the questions I want. The test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. True. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. <laughs> wow, that third option. Damn. I will not betray the Jedi Order, even to save Bastila. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. You're right. I'm tired of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? I could lie, but, uh, that's not worth it. Jedi Academy? I have no idea what you're talking about. Very well. This is the price of your resistance. <laughs> Enough. You see what happens when you try to defy me. This yeah, a lot of nothing. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. What? Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. Again, the third option. Wow. Uh, you will pay for this crime, Saul. You and all the Sith. More empty threats. We Sith prefer to let our actions speak for us. Perhaps that is why we are winning this war. The now, only reason you're mission, not getting it right now is because I'm stuck here. Lord Malik and our Sith Armada. Jedi planning a stop. Lord Malak and the Sith Armada. Um, you've been sent to assassinate Lord Malak. No, that's not true. I won't betray the Jedi. Perhaps you need a reminder of the con 
consequences of refusing to cooperate. No. Uh, no! Uh, uh, Fain! Ah! Listen. Can you not hear her suffering? You can spare her further pain by simply answering my questions. Now mm -hmm. I will ask again. On what mission did the Jedi Council send you? Uh... Let's go with, uh, this accomplishes nothing, Saul. We will never betray the Republic. Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! <laughs> no! I beg you, no! Mercy! No! no! I am surprised she did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. Ah! Well, that's unfortunate. Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. You don't say. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. <laughs> that second option. No one is without hope of redemption, Bastila. Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taurus, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? I guess not. Um, that third option, again, jeez. Some of the dark side options, holy shit. They're so just comically evil. <laughs> uh, it's hard to believe they're all gone. I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger. Casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, Endar, Saar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saul gets back. Where is Saul now? Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I have to confess something. There was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping you would tell him what he wanted to know, just to make the horrible pain stop. I bet. Yeah. Sorry, Bastila. Watching you suffer tore me apart. I know you would never do anything. Not really, but for RP purposes. You did the right thing. I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position. To watch you suffer like that, it might have been too much for me to bear. Maybe. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we are here now. Malak is coming. Well, well, then we better hope Juhani busts us out of here before he arrives. Here's hoping. And... <laughs> well, there we go. Did it. All right, cool. What is down here, anyway? Kind of curious. Is it a dumb idea? Maybe. Do I care? No. I want to know. That's a Sith guard there. All right. There we go. Haha. -ha. Standard door. Whoop. Hello. And ha! Booyah! Ooh, storage container on the other side of the friggin' thing.
Computer spikes and parts. Nice. Uh, brig terminal. Uh, ooh, that's, that's pretty cheap. That's pretty expensive to... Uh, I was about to say cheap. That's not correct. It's pretty expensive to get in there. Starboard cell block key. Hmm. I wonder if that will help me get into the thing. It's the brig terminal. Nope. Okay, well. Starboard cell block key. What does that even mean? Oh! I guess it lets me open these. You not, Sith! Help me out of this cell! And me help you! Why did the Sith capture you? Evil Sith unjustly capture me and my ship. They think we spies. They torture all the crew trying to get information. But we do not have any information to give. But Sith not care. They interrogate the captain until his mind snapped. Then they grab first mate, the navigator. They all crazy now. Mind's gone. So sad, but they have nothing but animals now. Me lowest rank on ship, but now me only one left. Soon Sith come to interrogate me too. But me not know anything. Me just uh, me just trader in rare goods. Uh, what do you mean by rare goods? Me bring things to people in need. People who need things they can't get normally. You're a smuggler. Such a nice language. Me helps people, and people helps me. You helps me, and me helps you. Okay. How can you help me? Me have something special. Something you can use on ship. Something very powerful. An icebreaker. It gives you access to computers on the ship. You use it to override Sith security programs. Why wouldn't the Sith have confiscated something like that? Sith, um, Sith not very thorough in search. <laughs> Ew. Say no more, I get the picture. You open cell and me give you breaker, deal? What about the rest of your crew? It is too late for them. The mine's gone, they crazy with hate and pain. Sad, very sad. But me got to worry about me now. Me got to escape before Sith take me for questioning. Why haven't you escaped on your own? Me traitor, not fighter. Sith all around, guarding terminals. But you look like you could get to terminals, no problems. Me knows good opportunity when me sees it. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Good, you hurry now. Get cards from guards to get me out of cell. Me no want to be here when Sith torture me. Me not want to go insane like others. It's too late for them, but there's still be hope for me. You get me out and me escape before Sith torture. It stopped way too quick, but still, I understood the gist. Oh, I guess these are the crazy ones. <laughs> Oops. Alright, well. And... There we go. It's unfortunate, but... I, I get it, I get it. Uh, let's see what I can do. I do it, I do it. Torture break mine. That was what the... Haha! -ha! Me always know good opportunity when me sees it. Here, you help me. Now me helps you. Here, take the icebreaker. It lets you slice into computers on ship. Me has tuned the breaker to work on the brig computer, so you use it on brig level. It not work anywhere else. Remember, the breaker only good for one use, so you not waste it. You go fight guards, me go and hide now. Wait for chance to get to ship. Cool. And that will let me mess with the other thing. But I'm also going to take the contraband. Eventually. Oh. Whole bunch of stuff here. Pazak deck. So this is how I get a Pazak deck if I don't pay for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, short sword, stealth field generator hair trigger, and computer spikes. Riot equipment. Short sword, long sword, combat suit, blaster pistol, stun baton. Yeah, that's a bunch of riot stuff, for sure. 
Well, hello! Well, that worked a little. This is helping a little bit. Ow. Okay, let's see if this will do what I want it to. Not exactly. Okay. There we go. Got you. And got you. Oh, storage box. That wasn't a lot. That wasn't a lot either. Nor that. Nor that. But hey, it's something. Oh, the Foot Locker. Almost didn't get that. Sith Pass Card, huh? Interesting. And useful. My favorite combination. Uh huh. A heavy trooper, huh? Well. Wow. They were not kidding when they said heavy trooper. Ow. Oof. Oof. Owie make ow. That hurts a lot. Uh, Fancy med pack. I'm going to need that. Holy crap. I don't have a lot of items on my person. Well, that'll help a little. There we go. Alright. Well, I'm surprised that took as much of my force points as it did. But, I mean, I guess not much else I can do about it. Huh. Well, I'm going to have to start using that a little bit if I'm going to survive this. Alright. Well, time to get into the fray of this. There we go. And they're down. What do we got in here? Droid upgrades. Advanced flamethrower parts. Advanced stun ray. Energy shield level 2. Droid motion sensors type 3. Droid medium plating type 3. Droid light plating type 3. Interesting. Decommissioned droid. I could do this, yeah. Repair. Uh, engage in patrol mode. And I guess optimize the weaponry. I could do that. Cool. Alright. Leave it alone. And we'll call that good. Ooh, I just noticed there's this over here. Stun ray, construction kit, parts, security spike, droid medium plating type 2, droid motion sensors type 2, and a flamethrower. Okay. I'm getting a lot of stuff for droids. If only it was useful to me. I was about to say, is it going to go... Nope. Not in a direction that would be helpful to me. Damn it. Medical supplies, huh? What we got in here? Retinal combat implant, nerve enhancement package, advanced med pack, life support pack, and three other smaller med packs. Two med packs, battle stimulant, antidote kit, adrenal strength, adrenal stamina, adrenal alacrity. Okay. And patient gear. Patient gear is empty for some reason. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. And at this point, I'm just going to keep on exploring. Detention area. A standard door. Equipment storage. Faw. Okay. Okay. 
Cell door. Locked. Fuck. This door. Locked. Fuck. Okay. Well, these are probably the doors I need to open. But... Might as well check down here. Set up that droid. The <laughs> Set up that droid for literally nothing. I feel so good about myself. Because I'm an idiot. Okay. This was the direction I was going to go. At least this was where the body was. Um... Elevator controls. Oh, I could go to cell block, bridge, or hangar. Okay. I guess we'll uh, leave that alone for now. I'm going to do that as well to top my health off. And I guess we'll go do that brig thing. For the brig terminal. Use the icebreaker. You hook up the icebreaker to the terminal. After a few moments, you see activity on the screen. Okay. Security cameras for the barracks. Nope. Didn't want that. Cell block. Um. Escape and progress sounding alarm. Huh. Nothing really special. Emergency riot system. Okay, that's weird. Um, tension area? No. Medical? No. Droid maintenance? No. Kind of curious. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay, well, root menu, system commands, upload, schematic, and I guess I'm done. Alright, cool. Well, that does that. And since that way is completely different than what I need to be doing, I guess we go this way. I need to break them out. That is the priority one and then from there we'll work on doing other things unlock aft holding cells and equipment storage warning aft brig unsecured well done Juhani. in freeing us from the cell you have proven yourself truly worthy of the title of jedi if i remember the Aww. layout of the ship our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching, and I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. Well, we need some type of plan. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in, then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm going to find him on the Leviathan's bridge. Careful, Karth. There's more at stake here than personal revenge. That's true, Karth. You can come, but don't let your hatred of Saul Karth jeopardize our true mission. Getting the Ebon Hawk safely off the Leviathan. You better come with me and Karth. The others can find their way on their own, but we might run into trouble. We'll need you and your powerful force abilities to deal with it. The three okay. of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Evan Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. Good. Get the equipment room, grab what you need, and get going. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the Force be with you. We still have to get our equipment. Let's go. Let's get ourselves unnaked real quick. There we go. 
Well, everyone but me got on naked. All right. <laughs> nice. 2,000 credits. Okay. All of the... All of our stuff. That's all of our stuff. There's a backpack for more stuff. And a footlocker for other stuff. Bandolier for more other stuff. Assault rifle. Okay, cool. I got all my stuff back. And now I can dress myself up the way I was before. Wahoo! Um, which one was on my right hand? I forget. Um, I think it was the other one for this. I think? I don't quite remember. I don't quite remember what I did with the lightsabers. But it's fine. It's fine, I think. Maybe. Um, the armband. And then the belt. And then the shield. That's good. And then that. And then, I guess... That. There we go. Which one? Which one do I do? Fuck, I don't remember which one I had. Ow. Um, retinal combat implant. I guess that works. I guess that's good. And yeah. Okay. I think we're good. And he doesn't have any, any at all he can use. Well, that sucks. She doesn't either, but that's fine, I guess. Okay. Well, there we go heal a little and i guess level up the rest of the gang uh skills <laughs> put more into treat injury because why not uh awareness i guess that's okay feats um hmm. what do i do with karth and <laughs> his shit what do i do um I guess there's not much else to do, but, like, I don't know, give him implants or something? Because he's more of a ranged guy anyway. Yeah, so give him the ability to do implants. Sure. Oh, and he has another level up. Okay. <laughs> All right. Not what I was expecting, but okay. Okay. More feats. Well, I guess we bring him up to level two. Sure, why not? Yeah, seems almost unnecessary, but okay. Uh, then, in that case, let's get him... Yeah, get him the same thing. Why not? Okay, and now Bastila. Bring her up to 14. And... Up that and that, I guess. Powers. Powers. What should I do with that? Um... Doesn't do Force Wave, not yet. Huh. Interesting. Um, it's just restricted to the Jedi. This does the entire party, which is good. We'll do that. And another level up. Okay, cool. Do the one there, and then one there. Do the feats. I don't actually have to do that for her, I don't think. I think that bug is still in play for this game. I think. So, let's see. Um, let's do the advanced Jedi defense. Because why not? And... Hmm. Now she can do force wave. Whoops. Helps if I hit the right button, though. Alright, there we go. That's cool. And we're good. Booyah good as we're gonna get probably <laughs> it's a key phrase and then there was us here which i can't interact with that computer that computer and then there was this group i guess this cell was for the rest of the group i should say 
Damn, Juhani did some damage, which we already know because we were controlling her, but still. Okay. Now we head to the bridge? I guess that's where we're supposed to go. That makes sense, honestly. This is Candorus. We're at the Ebon Hawk. Like we figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry, we'll figure out a plan to take care of them. Well, that's good. Good to hear. In that case, the only place we can go is the bridge. Cool. Here we are. And... Well, hello. Weren't expecting me, were you, bish? Oh, just throw on a shield just so you can avoid some damage, huh? Well, you're not gonna avoid it for long. Tell you that much, bitch. Well, we got another one going. Ah, <laughs> bitch. All right. simple droid is only programmed to seek out and repair minor malfunctions within the ship. It ignores you completely. Okay. Well, hello. Didn't expect to see all of you here. There we go. And I guess we can open up this. Superior targeting computer, huh? Assault droid does not respond to me. Well, okay then. Droid upgrades. More st heavy plating type 3. Oh, someone's going to enjoy that. Alright. Is that a computer? Yes, there's a computer that I can interact with. Slice into it. Um, access security cameras? Barracks here. Oh, they already put on their shields, huh? Well, they're ready for what's coming. Barracks 3. Oh, Jesus. They're all just full of people. Droid maintenance. Activate experimental assault droid. Let's not do that. The armory. Hello. A lot of things there that I might want to grab. Elevator corridor two. I thought I already did one and two. I guess they both look the same. Central corridor. And two looks exactly the same and the bridge corridor looks relatively similar to the rest of the damn things i've looked at okay so i guess we'll go to that open all security doors and we'll call it good and get out of here cool cool beans well, hello. Weren't expecting me, were you, bitch? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is gonna get a little crazy. A little quickly. Whoo! Alright, eventually. Alright, ow. Okay. I was about to say, she's going to need to heal, like, now. Okay, didn't want to go back to me. Alright. Okay, well. So far, so not good. Bastila's down. Okay, the Sith Captain will take him down. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? We need to heal <laughs> something fierce. Okay. Really? It didn't... Okay, well that's shenanigans. Okay. I'm going to just barely survive this. 
I think. Okay, and now I do this to that guy. All right. <laughs> well, data pad off of that guy. Are the other ones not coming too yet? I guess they're not. Okay, well, that's not good. That's really not good. Okay, well, since they're not coming to, and, uh... Oh, that's why. Alright, well. Deal with these guys, and then I'll end the episode after that. Because, oh boy. So much shenanigans going on. Uh, actually, no. There you go. Better! Okay, now everyone's slightly more alive than when they were. <laughs> Okay, so. They're all following me, good. Now I just heal them up. And we end the episode. And we will get to the shocking conclusion next time. What can I do? And have her pick up the slack, I guess. There we go. Okay, anyway. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to let them recharge their force points and then get back to it. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and fighting my way through the Leviathan. Trying to get ourselves to Saul and uh, bring him to justice one way or another. And also then get off the ship because Malik is coming and he's big, scary, bad, no bad dude. So there's that. But uh, what happens from there, we've yet to find out for you.